We're broadcasting from the Concrete Jungle Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. Know what's beautiful about this city, Bricks? I don't know, Bim. Tell me. I don't know either. That's, that's why I was asking you guys. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Cincinnati Bengals. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, oh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Fighting for every... That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! If you pay close attention, kids, you'll see the steps are making a perfect pentagram. Summon your own demons at home. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the QB. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. And he just wrestles away from... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. And the up six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> and they run it for a couple of yards. <laughs> Third and two. He refuses to go down. He could go all the way. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And 
And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. I personally think the ginormous guy is kind of fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, it was hitting mid hurdle and fumble. Scrummed it out and came up with the ball. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Shake your money, make up, big man. You earned it. Hey, man, he's going to kill him now. You know what happened? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know. I hate those zebra men. Second down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the ref runs out of bounds and manages to survive somehow. Yeah, at least for another 40 seconds. Second down, and we've got a... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down in forever. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Rainbow and he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog thing snags. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Oh, nice 
head. And it's first and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous. The lineman swants the ball away with those meaty paws. What? It looks so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. And that'll be second down and four. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and five. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pan Graham. you're right Whoa. looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back to the qb oh it's the sticky ball dirty trick ah oh, pass the popcorn grim Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down in a lot. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. First down at six. You never know. Straight through the uprights. No. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Uh. 
And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Two minutes remain in the half. Great. I gotta take a dump. Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man. Want some? Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. It's a touchdown! Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. First and offense says it's time to put the ramp out of his misery.
First down and a mile. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down in a mile. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled that they were doing it. Yeah, she called that rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Second down, and they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll be smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Nicely done for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And these guys... 
guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. <laughs> First down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and seven. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? And he breaks, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim.
First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Turn. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Fair with a ball and didn't fall out. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second and eight to go. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. Yeah, boo, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> I 
And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Glenn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Oh, the old Brokeback Mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of Newton, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. And that'll be second down and four. and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and five. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. <laughs> and the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, I love this dirty trick. C5 folks. He should apply for the Mutant Volleyball League. Hey, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Holy crap! He mistimed the spikes and ends up dead! Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering, and then it's over much too soon. And it's first and ten. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it's good the teams are lined up for the kickoff and that's a return of the ball returnable you mean he can get a refund for it no no bricks it means he can return it for you know what never mind Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And 
It's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. I don't know which they are. <laughs> the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, you don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And the rumor is going crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking up field. Yeah, he's taking a sight to beat that line the way a Republican. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. He could go all the way. He, he might catch him. Oh, you fat little goat. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? The offense must forfeit the game because all their quarterbacks are dead. There's no one left to throw the ball, so this game is over. Well, that's one way to win a game. Kill all the players on the opposing team. Yeah, don't seem fair, Grim. Hey, life's not fair, dipshit. But it's not kicking in the head, it's kicking in the balls. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is gonna get ugly fast. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. <laughs> And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. No! The Simpson FDA will pulverize the opposition today and win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up? Now we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the middle now. You know what happened? Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you.